Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Some research done recently by the University of Kyoto in Japan shows that dogs can be really discriminating. They found that if uh, an owner pointed to a tub full of food, um, the dog would go and would, would enjoy it. Uh, if the next time the owner pointed to a tub that had no food in it, the dog would go would find there was nothing there and come back. The third time the owner pointed to this empty tub of food, the dog wouldn't bother to go. It would have learnt that this particular owner was no longer trustworthy in this respect. They tried this out with apparently 34 different types of dog and each of them did exactly the same thing. They knew when somebody was not to be trusted. It struck me that we need as human beings to make that distinction between people that we can trust and people that we can't. But maybe we need to go a little bit further than dogs do uh, in making sure that we've made that decision correctly. One of Jesus's more counterintuitive sayings was that we should go on forgiving uh, till we've done it 70 times 7. In other words, we just keep on doing it. And forgiveness, of course, is not just uh, having a, a, a warmer feeling towards the person who's um, let us down than we might otherwise have. It's also showing the forgiveness in terms of, of further action. In other words, if somebody does betray our trust, uh, not only to forgive them for it, but to show signs that you have uh, really forgiven them by trusting them again. And that's why I say it's counterintuitive, because if you go on doing that, you keep on going, going on being let down, uh, it doesn't uh, seem to make sense. And indeed, it doesn't. But it challenged me as I thought about this this morning, because I think that there is a, a, a way in which if somebody uh, has shown that we can't trust them, uh, maybe they're feeling uh, upset about that. And forgiveness, of course, is too, a two-way thing. If the person couldn't care less, then obviously there's not much you can do about it. But if, if somebody is genuinely upset about having let you down, uh, and you can talk it over with them, um, and, and then perhaps uh, you can uh, trust them in something that's perhaps not quite so important um, to, to build up their confidence again. I think that's that's the loving thing to do. Uh, and so um, I, I think that we human beings need to go a little bit further than the dog in, in, in going on trusting people because we have the ability to help the person who has let us down grow in confidence and therefore I think become more trustworthy by our continuing um, to put trust in them, perhaps not to the extent we did initially, but gradually building up our confidence in them and their confidence in themselves.